find the derivative solution. So in this problem, we have to use the chain rule. So y prime. So the derivative of e to the x is just e to the x. So here it's e to the sine 2x. So it will be e to the sine 2x. And then you have to multiply by the derivative of the inside function, right? So the inside function here is sine 2x. Its derivative is cosine 2x. And then again, chain rule, multiply by the derivative of the inside function. The derivative of 2x is 2. Let me go over that again. So we can take the derivative of e to the sine 2x, and do it up here. It's e to the sine 2x, and you don't touch the inside. Your inside function is sine 2x. Then you multiply by the derivative of the inside. So the derivative of sine is cosine, and then you have another inside function. That's 2x. And then the derivative of 2x is 2. So it's like a double chain rule. Plus, here the derivative of sine is cosine. And again, we have an inside function. So it'd be cosine e to the 2x times the derivative of e to the 2x. Well, the derivative of e to the 2x is e to the 2x times the derivative of 2x. So 2, it's, again, it's a double chain rule. So maybe the last thing you can do is put the numbers in the front. So this is 2 cosine 2x e to the sine 2x plus 2 cosine e to the 2x times e to the 2x. Just rewriting it and putting the 2's uh, in the front, the 2, and just a little bit of rewriting. And that's the final answer.